All right, guys, we're on our way to National Camera, where we're gonna do a test on three different Canon FD lenses, a Zeiss Loxia, a Leica, if they'll let me use it, because it is a very, very expensive lens. And then also some sort of a Zeiss cinema lens, hopefully the B-Speeds, they have a set of those and they are legit. They have been used on a lot of different movies. Obviously the Leicas have been used everywhere and we're gonna get to compare basically a $50, $100 Canon FD lens. We're gonna compare that to a $30,000 cinema lens and see what uh, see what the difference is. See if that $30,000 price tag is good or if Leica is pulling a fast one on you. So. Let's go. First lens we're gonna test here is the Canon SSC 35-2. Let's see what we got here. Let's run it through the different apertures and see what this lens is capable of. I'm at ISO 200, shutter of 1 25th. There's a shot at F2. Go down to 2.8, just adjusting my shutter, 80th of a second, that's a 2.8. All right, let's take it up to a 4. I bet you anything this lens really sharpens up at a 4. And there's a shot, looking good. Let's go down to a 5.6, shutter it down a hair. Boom, five, six, I bet it's gonna be real sharp. Let's go do an eight. My shutter is one thirteenth of a second. Got it? Cool. And then let's try one. Add an 11, just to see if there's any sort of a difference there. Looks nice and sharp. All right. I don't think I'm gonna shoot it at a 16 or a 22, so. All right, so here are all the images. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at center sharpness. You can see the F2, a little soft. 2.8, 4, really, really sharp. 5, 6, 8 look good, and 16. You can tell it starts to get a little softer. Well, let's take a look at edge sharpness. This is the bottom right corner. You can see they start looking a lot better at about 5.6. Alrighty, so the next lens is the NFD 35 F2. We'll see how it compares. Come on. All right, it's an F2, ISO 200, 125th of a shutter. Nice. All right, here's a 2.8. Nice. Let's go to the four, shutter it down. There's a 60th right there. Got it. I can already tell just by looking at it that it's, it's sharpened up. A little more contrast, I think. There's a 5.6, shutter. Is that a 30th of a second? Okay, looks real nice. Go to an eight. Cool. Looking good. And then maybe a 16. Cool. All right, got it. Let's move on to the next lens. And here's the results with the NFD 35F2. As you can see, we zoom into the center sharpness. The apertures looks like F4. Looks about the best to me. And then on the corner sharpness, it, they gradually sharpen up in the corners. Looking really nice. F, you know, 8. Alright, so this lens is the cheapest of them all. It's a 35 NFD 2.8. See how it stacks up. First shot, is that a 2.8? ISO 200 and a 125th of a second. Wow, just looking at it, it looks, looks pretty nice. It's an 
f4. You know what? Just with my eye, this lens here looks really nice. All right. This is a 5.6. Got it. Let's go to the 8. Looks great. Go to a 16. All right, there's that lens. Let's keep going. And the cheapest lens of the bunch. Here's the results. So we're looking at the center sharpness. Wow, all the apertures look really nice actually. 2.8 probably being the worst. 4 looks incredible. 5.6 looks great. In 16 you can tell it starts to kind of go downhill. The edge sharpness, honestly, not too terrible. 2.8 uh, a lot of vignetting, but 5.6 and 8 look great. Now we're done with the FDs. Let's move on to the Zeiss Loxia 35 F2. This is about a $1,300 lens, I believe, somewhere around there. So it's much more expensive than the other lenses. Let's see what we get. For our first shot, we're at ISO 200 and at F2. Right away, you can tell this thing is sharp. Going to a 2.8. And this lens looks nice. There's an F4. Something cool about these Loxias is that they're declicked and they have hard stops on them, so they are amazing for video work. I love these lenses. They have a real cool circular bokeh as well. All right, that's the uh, 5.6. Let's go to the 8, F8. Got that one. There's a 16, F16. All right, got that one. We'll see how that looks. And of course the Loxia. Center sharpness, two is decent. Two eight, really nice. Four is really great. Five, six. Not quite as nice as 4, it looks like. And then 16, kind of goes downhill there. Edge sharpness, 2 is not terrible. It's not great. I would say F4 really starts to sharpen up. 5, 6, 8, really, really good. 16 looks soft. All right, now we're going to test out some serious cinema glass. We're here at Nashville Camera Rentals. Highly recommend them if you're in the area. And we are going to try out a Zeiss B-Speed. This thing is worth thousands of dollars and has been used in a lot of movies. So let's see what we get with this. By the way, this opens up to a 1.4, so this should be exciting. Let's go. Also, this lens is a PL mount, so you'll need a Sony E-mount to PL adapter. They do make them and they do work well. Okay, it's on there. Make sure it's on there real good. That is a beautiful lens. All right, let's take a look here, what we're getting. Wow, this thing lets in so much light. It's awesome. All right, a 1.4, my shutter now, it's still at a 200 ISO. I'm shuttering to a 640th of a second. So this thing really lets the light in. I'm not sure what to expect out of this lens corner softness and things so here we go i saw 200 at a 1 4 6 40th of a second on the shutter all right there's our first shot and wow at a 1 4 it looks to my eye to be really great all right we're setting shopping it down to a two the shutter is going to a 400th now all right looks nice and sharp Gonna go down to a two eight. Two hundred of a second. Looks great. Gonna just run this lens through the gauntlet here. Going down to the four. Checking focus. 
We're going to F4, yeah. At a 125th. No. At a 100th of a second. Shutter. Wow. That lens looks so sharp. All right. And then this is at a 5.6. 50th of a second. We'll go to the 8. that go to a 16 which is the minimum aperture on this sixth of a second on the shutter there we go we'll see what we get and the results from the B speed which I was really curious about we look at center sharpness. Wow, F2, 2.8, look great. 4 is incredibly sharp. F8 looks like it's going downhill a bit. 16, same, a little worse. Edge sharpness, you know, not terrible. 4, they never really does get super sharp on the edge. All right, and now we try the cream of the crop, the Leica Sumo Lux C35. What is it, an F14. This lens here is so expensive, it's ridiculous. So, we'll see what it can do. All right, out of 1.4, 500 of a second, ISO 200, looking good. Moving it to an F2. 400 of a second on the shutter. Let's just check that focus one more time. Look sharp. Nice. Gonna go to a 2.8. Okay, got it. Looks sharp. Going to a 4. All right. 125th of a second. Shutter. Got it. 5.6. Just the mechanics of this lens feels incredible. Got that one. Go into an eight. Let's try that. 30th of a second. Got it. We'll go to the 16. This, the minimum on this is a 22. Not like it really matters. Who's going to shoot this at a 22? Who pays $30,000 to shoot at an F22? Nobody. All right, cool. Unfortunately, I missed focus on the 1, 4, and the 2, which is sad because I even checked the focus. Center sharpness, though, on the 2, 8, you can see, really nice. 4, incredibly sharp. 8, really, really sharp. 16, not quite as sharp, still really good. Probably better than any other lens at 16. We look at the edge sharpness, hard to tell with those first few. 2, 8's not bad. 4, really nice. 8, really sharp. 16, really sharp. All right, y'all. So we're just leaving Nashville camera. We got to test out some pretty sick cinema glass. I cannot wait to see what that Leica looks like compared to a $100 Canon FD lens. So, which both lenses are used on big time cinema jobs. So I'll be really curious to see what we get. Okay, so now let's take a look at how all these lenses compare at these similar apertures. We have five at f2, the center sharpness, as I'm looking at these, the best one is the B-speed by a lot. It looks amazing. The Loxia is definitely second place, then maybe the FDs, and then can't tell it's the Leica because I missed focus. Corner sharpness, uh, the B-speed. Alright, f2.8. Let's see, we have six lenses here now. Let's take a look at center sharpness. Wow. The NFD F2 looks great. I'd say the B speed still is sharper than any other ones. Second place is Loxia. Third place would be the NFD2. It's a toss up with the other ones. Corner sharpness. Best one here looks like the Loxia, surprisingly. Alright, F4. Let's take a look. The sharpest one here to me is the B speed still. It's just unbelievably clear. Second place, though, is easily the NFD 2.8. That thing is really sharp here. 
the Leica looks great. The Loxia looks great. I'd say and then um, the SSC and the NFD2. Last place again. Corner sharpness. Wow, the Loxia has them all beat. Then the B speed and the Leica. Alright, 5 6. Center sharpness. Still gotta go with the B speed or the Leica. They're really, really sharp. And then here, the SSC and the Loxia are really tied. And then NFD28 is also really sharp. And then the NFD2. Alright, we're looking at corner sharpness. The Loxia has them all beat. Wow, that's a surprise. Then the B speed, then the Leica. Then the FDs kind of look real similar. F8. Let's zoom in for a closer look here. I was going to say the sharpest one here. Wow, it's kind of a toss up between the Leica and the NFD 2.8. Wow, that's incredible because that's the cheapest lens there. SSC looks amazing. The Loxy looks great. The B speed's decent. I don't know, I must have maybe misfocused or something with that. I don't know. It's The B speed's a little softer. It's kind of falling apart. And the NFD 2 is about the same as the B speed. All right. Let's take a look at the corner sharpness. Wow, the Loxia, wow. It's by far sharper than anything else. And then second is the Leica. Then it's a toss up. They all look pretty decent though. Okay, and then F16, our last one. Center sharpness, gotta give it to the NFD2. And then the SSC is really, really sharp. Then the NFD 2.8. So the cannons are really shining here. The other lenses are slowly kind of not looking super great. The Loxia being the worst. Leica than the B speed. And then edge sharpness. Wow. The SSC looks amazing here. The Leica actually looks nice too here. Which makes me wonder if I didn't miss focus or something on that last one. NFD2 looks great. Honestly, they all look pretty good. Notice how much difference there are in color between the different lenses as well. Something interesting to look at. Anyways, we're wrapping up here, and now we're gonna head out to Franklin, where we are going to meet a wedding photographer, okay? And this wedding photographer, he's gonna run us through uh, a few tricks with all these lenses. He's, we're gonna test some different stuff. So, we're headed out there now to meet Peter. So, let's go.